morning children are you all ready for school you want to get this well not exactly this you're gonna get something like this because the FCC doesn't send this out anymore. You can now print this out, your official copy. It's kind of uh, anticlimactic, I guess, after you've studied, taken a test, and gotten all the excitement of getting your license, and you get to uh, print out a copy of your license. So, you guys that already got your license, skip ahead to the next part. You don't need a $36 ARRL license manual. You can get on your trusty little iPhone or your Droid and you can download for $3.99 these uh, exam prep programs. This one is for the tech license, $3.99. I guarantee you, if you do this one right, you'll pass on the first try. I'm gonna take you deep, deep undercover inside the ham radio test. Nobody has ever done this before. Never been done. My secret cameras are gonna take you in. I have so, uh, wonder what it's like to him. take the ham radio test. Yeah, We're going in today. We're going deep, deep undercover. Hello, sir, I'd like to take the ham radio test. I don't know. You might not be qualified. <laughs> so you come in and you sign up. It'll cost you fifteen dollars generally. You have this back. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> you want that? You're gonna bring an official ID, a copy of your license if you're going to upgrade. About fifteen bucks now. I suppose. Or a check or something. I haven't had my coffee yet. Neither have I. And then a bunch of friendly guys like this will be grading your test. <laughs> Smile, you're supposed to be friendly guys. Yeah, and yeah, we do love <laughs> your best. Yeah. So when you show up for your test, bring your driver's license or a state issued ID. Bring your $15. Go on the FCC website and get an FRN number before you come. It'll make things a little easier, but if you don't have it, you can always use your social security number. Once you get in there, you're going to fill out this form 605. That's your application for your ham radio license, and that's exactly what's going to get transferred over to the FCC. Here's the book. This is the test. 35 questions. It is not that hard. Study that little guide or however you want to do it and I guarantee you you're gonna pass it on the first try. I'm not actually giving any state secrets away here. There's a bunch of these tests and they go up with a uh, answer key. Uh, but they're exactly the same questions as you're getting in that study material. It's no different. So you'll see these questions again. You're gonna mark everything on an answer sheet. Don't mark it in the book. Because the local club that's uh, putting these together, we buy those books. And you know we're generally a little low on fundage. So anyway, you're gonna fill out the top half of this thing. You're gonna fill out the numbers all the way to question number 35. Why is there 50 questions? Because once you get to the extra test, that's 50 questions. And now we get to the test. And here's a guy taking his test for the very first time. After you take the test, you're going to hand it back to the volunteer examiners. Those are the guys sitting at the table. And we're going to use an answer key just like this to uh, grade your test. So it's not like, you know, hey, if I know you really well or you pay me 50 bucks, I'm going to make it look real good for you. Um, these things are pretty standard. Each test is graded by three volunteer examiners. Kind of takes that favoritism thing out. It also, we're checking each other. Uh, and yeah, we make, we make mistakes. 
after you pass your first test, expect a sales job. <laughs> We're always going to try to get you guys to take the next test. Hey, it's free to take it in the same session. It gives you a free look at the next level up. And believe it or not, lots of you guys come in looking for that technician test and you walk out as a general and sometimes even an extra. After you pass, you get a CSCE. This says that you passed. So I told you I was going to give you my secret for passing the test on the very first time. Well, this is it. It's the exam prep apps you get for your phone. $3.99 and you get the entire question pool for the technician, general, or extra exams. And here's how I really like to study. You're going to pull up a question pool in a certain area. You're going to just start looking at the question. Pick one or two words in the correct answer and memorize it. Just memorize a few key words in the question and one or two words in the correct answer. And look at those over and over and over again. Just keep going through them. You're going to see the same things coming up on that test. And I guarantee you, if you do this enough, you're just going to see it and remember it. And you'll go, oh, that looks familiar. This is easy. You're going to look through the questions. You're going you're gonna to get whatever study guide, however you want to study. I'm not going to tell you how to study. You guys are adults. You're freaking adults. And if you're not an adult, well, then you probably already know how to study because you're going to school anyway. Now, now that you've got your license in your hand, now's the time you're going to start learning about this stuff. And you're going to start learning about it because, number one, you're going to go out and you're going to buy yourself a $30 radio. Everybody does. Don't feel bad. It's okay. I did it. The other guy did it. Everybody owns a $30 radio. Except for Burton. He doesn't own a $30 radio. Now that you hams are back, I've got my trusty KX3. And this week I'm getting ready, I'm starting to get ready for field day. So... We decided for our club, we're doing an all QRP field day. We're bringing out some big gun antennas, a lot of them. And we're going to have five KX3s on station. And we're going to be operating QRP, alternative power. We're doing something completely different. And we're doing it specifically because the bands suck. And we're going to be calling CQ. I want you to work W6EK this field day. If you're listening to me, try to work W6EK on field day. We'll be looking for you. I needed to put roofing filters in my radio. So I ordered the set of roofing filters. The boys at Step IR were gracious enough to let me keep this thing for a while. So I've got my Sark uh, 110 here. And I actually got to use this thing uh, as a signal generator this time. And I had never done this before because after you put the roofing filters in the KX3, you got to recalibrate the radio. Well, that was 12 pages of instructions on how to recalibrate the radio. And it kind of made my head swim. So I went and saw a friend of mine, Dennis, WU6X, who gave me a hand. So once you crack the case open on your KX3 and you're ready to start putting your roofing filters in, make sure you're well grounded before you start. You'd hate to lose $150 worth of stuff. Those roofing filters are not cheap. So it comes with its own little test antenna and a long screw. I'm not using that. I'm going to use the Sark 110 as a signal generator this time. Remember, read the instructions. There's 13 pages of them, so you won't, uh, <laughs> you definitely won't get tired of reading those. 
but it may make your head swim just a little bit like it did mine. The first order of business we did was remove the batteries. Remember that little screw you saw that came in the kit? Well, you're going to take this screw out from the top of the heat sink. Later on, you're going to replace it with this longer, more studly screw. This little hole on the uh, end of the roofing filter kit is going to be uh, is going to be used to basically uh, hold it in place with that nice new long screw. At this point, I wish I could say that the real hard part was over, but no, it was just beginning. We put that uh, new screw back in the hole, and that secured the uh, the roofing filter kit and then sealed up the radio. So once the radio is back on, you're gonna go through this whole long 12 pages of uh, instructions on how to uh, set the calibration. With the Sark 110 at 14 megahertz, uh, I found my radio was off just a hair, so we had to go through this whole long thing and you went through and reset it and set it again, different modes, different stuff, and you did it all just according to the uh, instructions. It was fairly long and arduous, but when it was all done, look at that, it works. Remember, hit that subscribe button if you like my videos. It really helps, it does more than you know. Guys, I'm done. I got nothing left to say to you, so 73, I'm out of here. Remote system linked. Oh yeah, one more thing, I got a new drone. So how about a little beautiful music and antennas flying in the breeze to take you out?